Welcome to Collector's Therapy, and I have, as you can see, the brand new Bane Maquette by Daniel Bell through Sideshow Collectibles. So be sure you click that like button, subscribe, and let's get to it. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am excited because I have the brand new Bane Maquette, and it's an incredible, incredible piece. I did do kind of an exclusive uh, live unboxing uh, the on Friday evening within the uh, DCX open mic group. This is an awesome, awesome piece. Um, I personally, while I have not seen the uh, OG Bane, to me this is more my Bane. I love just how he's not so hulked out and almost to me the OG Bane it's an awesome awesome sculpt and everything I love the Batman base or bat signal base but it's kind of a little cartoony just with how hulked out he is and this Bane you know to me is more of that Nightfall Bane where he's not so roided out on the Venom and I just really like that but uh Enough about that. Let's go ahead and let's get those close-ups, shall we? All right, so we are gonna start with the base, and it's a really cool base, I think. You know, you've got this nice muddy and kind of gravelly effect that goes all around. You have little shards of what looks like metal from the Batmobile. And I love the detail on that. It looks actually like it's been destroyed, but I can assure you guys, you know, this is sculpted. This is not metal. Just awesome, awesome detail with that right there. But I think my favorite part of the base, and of course this kind of clicks in and out. It's magnetized, part of that Batmobile base, but my favorite part is this tire because look how lifelike that looks. It's just awesome, awesome, awesome. I can assure you guys that it is not a real tire. This is a uh, fully, fully sculpted. I also like this part of the base where you get uh, the Batmobile tire or the rim actually of the tire. So let's start with his shoe, his boots. Uh, and these uh, shoelaces, you know, are sculpted, or at least they're uh, some version of uh, plastic. Uh, it does feel a little plasticky, but they are not mixed media. And here is his other boot. You know, you've definitely got kind of a little bit of a weathered look where it looks just, you know, a little dirty. And of course, you've got the shoelaces there. The, this right here is a very, very nice touch. You've got little holes in his pants with dried blood. We go up and look at them legs, thighs, and hammies. Bane definitely does not skip leg day and he does not skip glutes either. Just awesome, awesome sculpt on the musculature. And of course we have his classic belt. And around, of course, we've got the tube of venom, which, you know, hooks into his arm right here and just snaps right in. And of course this just snaps in to his bicep. And of course you got some more of that uh, bloody holes in this tank top and let's get a look at all these muscles so yeah wow <laughs> awesome awesome detail on some of the bloody elbows you know of course you have these bloody knuckles that's coming all around but awesome awesome musculature you know as i was saying i love this the sculpt of this thing he's not like super venomed 
or roided out, kind of like the OG Bane, and I kind of prefer that. And this is the Collector's Edition portrait. Very, very nice. It's what I may call a little more modern. Uh, I will definitely give a close-up on the exclusive portrait here in a minute. And of course, you've got the little tubes of venom, which, you know, just hook into the back of uh, the portrait. So yeah, look at those muscles though, that, and look at the veins, that, that, that's just awesome, awesome detail. Daniel Bell knocked it out of the park. And here we have the exclusive head sculpt, and I absolutely love this. This is like straight out of the comics from Nightfall, you know. Uh, when I first saw the image is of this head sculpt, I wasn't really into it. Kind of like looked like a bug, but then I read not, Volume One of Nightfall, and this is the bane that breaks the Batman's back. So yeah, and wow, you even have little little veins in the side of his head. That's awesome, awesome detail. So. This is most definitely going to be the portrait I will d be displaying, Bane. So, Bane, what can you say about Bane? You know, that uh, hasn't already been said, of course. You know, he first appeared in Vengeance of Bane, number one. And I was, I read first volume of Nightfall a few months ago, and that is like just an awesome, awesome issue. And of course, the issue where Bane breaks Batman's back, that's honestly got to be my favorite uh, Batman comic that I've ever read. Just awesome, awesome stuff. Um, this is an awesome piece. It's going to go great in anyone's uh, Batman collection. But I got the idea from a fellow member of the community to pair him up with that new 52 Batman behind me off to the side as you can see and I'm going to put him up there and let you guys see what he looks like all right so let's see how he pairs up with this Batman so I have to say this looks pretty awesome next to the prime one new 52 Batman um, now I should say that this Batman is a little overscaled, it is supposed to be a uh, one fourth, so, but he's honestly uh, probably more like one third point five, because as you can see, this Batman is nearly the size of Bane, um, a little smaller than Bane, considering you know he's on this massive uh, base, but this gives an awesome story of. Batman flying away from Bane because he don't want to get his back broken a second time. So yeah, this is a very nice setup. I've got a smaller shelf for the Batman, as you can see, compared to uh, my uh, X-Men shelf. But yeah, I think this is going to be the proper setting of Bane for the foreseeable future. So I did want to also pair Bane up with a sideshow uh, Batman rogue. We got Mr. Freeze here, so I wanted to see how Bane paired up with some of those others since the new 52 Batman is a little oversized, as you can see, next to Mr. Freeze. But this is how Bane is going to look next to your other one-fourth premium formats or maquettes so yes he is a hefty hefty guy and he's going to stand and tower over a lot of your other one-fourth scale collectibles but thank you so much for watching guys it's been a pleasure uh, reviewing this awesome awesome piece again huge home run by daniel bell but be sure you click that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.